My, my name is uh, Dr. Hussein Abdullahi Mahmoud. I teach uh, uh, at Pwani University College in Kilifi, Kenya. And uh, I'm a social anthropologist, and today we came here to uh, participate in the Future of Pastoralism workshop. And my presentation was on camel marketing on the, on the northern Kenya, southern Ethiopia borderlands. The significance of this trade is that uh, camels have not been traditionally uh, commodities of the market, although they have been sold uh, on a very small scale. They have been uh, animals for provision of meat and milk. Uh, but now we have found uh, new markets for live camels. And uh, people have really responded, herders and traders in northern Kenya, southern Ethiopia, southern Somalia. And uh, the Moyele market is, is, is booming now. And uh, a head of uh, camel is now going for about 1,000 US dollars, which is about 80,000 Kenya shillings. Uh, Ten years ago, that was about 10,000. Uh, Kenya shilling, which was uh, equivalent to a head of, of cattle. Uh, a lot of implications for harder incomes, trader incomes, uh, integration of the region. I mean, these products finding their way to the Middle East is really uh, going to contribute massively to the livelihoods of the pastoral populations in, in, the, in the arid areas of, of, of the region. The market, I think, is demand-driven because uh, uh, the Darfur crisis uh, led to the decline in livestock uh, particularly camels moving to Egypt and uh, also the Somali crisis, the insecurity plus the piracy along the Somali coast also led to uh, the closure of those routes. Therefore now camels are being sourced from northern Kenya, southern Ethiopia uh, to meet those demands. In the, in the Gulf countries, uh, the demand for, for meat uh, is the driving force. Of course also for, for Egyptians. I mean, uh, one of the explanations is that this is a free-range, you know, animals. Therefore, probably they may uh, be preferred more than maybe animals that come from from feedlots or, or ranches from from elsewhere. Actually, from Moyale, once they go up, they go to feedlots and and fattening uh, uh, hold, uh, holding lands or holding areas in in central Ethiopia, especially around uh, around Addis Ababa, where they are kept there for several months to fatten and then to be cleaned and to be treated and then they are ready for export. But you don't, you not find uh, uh, camel ranches in the northern uh, or southern Ethiopia or northern Kenya region.